hi guys it's promise sebastian here again okay so i'll be take, taking you guys on color separation or color pattern using gradient like creating a form of color shape or color uh, shape dividing with your color gradient i see everything here now you see is just color gradient all these designs i just placed here we are all achieved with color gradient so it's very very easy due to the fact that since it's a gradient you can apply it whenever you want and you can remove it wherever you want you don't have to start getting shapes okay what i'm saying now might seem somehow let's just get started so you get it you get what i mean okay so this color gradient of a thing it it works in a way like when you get a shape let's say this is a shape i'll add a reduce to it i've created the gradient already so i'll use the ones that i've created and i'll also teach how to create it so this is a shape imagine you want to do your shape here maybe you want to write the caption of what you want to write on the white side and leave the other side open so that you can write some other things in it okay so it's here in the gradient here i've already created some so this is it here automatically create it then you add a stroke to it stroke let's say one two i, I change my stroke color my stroke color to white see i now have a shape with uh, a line like this automatically whereas you want to start getting this thing with shapes either that busy or pencil a bit very very hard for you it's something complicated but this is a very easier way okay let me show you guys how to create it first of all you go to your gradient this is, you can use it on text also you can use it on text watch out what this my text will look like as you can do it okay you see it's my text is not divided you can is up your other side is empty due to the power of this gradient so look at how to create it this is your gradient you go to your gradient your gradient color one of it must be if you want to do a transparent one one of it must be very much transparent then the other one will have the color you are looking for then you bring them close enough that they will create a sharp part here not blood you see when when they are far apart they are kind of blood but when you bring them close they become sharp the age like they they are meeting point when they are far is blood but when you bring it close it becomes sharp sharp enough to look as if it was a shape you see i've created a sharp joint here so with this now i now have a sharp joint here you see i can do that of the bottom i can do that of the you can even part it with your text you can even use it to part text Okay, so this is how i achieved it so you can also use it to create create something like this where you get different colors you can something like this i used it on this design something like that i use it on this design you can see let me zoom let me zoom draw in the design to zoom in you can see the design i parted the blue these are different shades of blue I brought them together and they now look as if they are a combined shape but you wouldn't know that is color gradient the magic of the color gradient okay so the, with this pattern you can create most you can even use it on backgrounds even use, let me change my background color you can use it on background that is why you switch you can use it on background see some transparent you can use this color shades now i created you see this here as i aligned it so this is it this side is white i brought it closer it created an edge this side is a little bit darker i brought it closer it created an edge this side just get your color you know that gradient when they are far apart they are meeting edges blood but when they are close enough they get a sharp meeting edge this is two color uh, plates for this um gradient you join them together you see i've gotten it so with this color now back here i can use it on my background I use this color sheet on my background. Let me change my background. You see, my background is now like you can use it on text, you can use it on background. Due to the fact that it's color manipulation, so it's very, very wonderful if you can use this. It's really, really awesome. I use it often. You can see on this Independence Day design I did. I also used it on the place I wrote my iMobile graphics under here. Okay, so look at it. this place. I that is it was it I used here. So you using a shape to create stuff like this won't get perfect. But when you get your gradient part, it the worst part, the the main thing about it is very very easy and simple. You get the shape. You don't just have to start working on getting another shapes. Just go to your color. Go to your gradient here you create it but you cannot actually create it with this color you have to go to the original edict here which is this one though if you use color it will not work it's from edict here where you created a shape that is where you work on it so look at it i want something up here 
see as simple as that i've gotten it so if i want to add a stroke now to make it look like this one's now i'll just go and get a stroke from here and get a stroke from the edit also add a stroke to it let's say one or two you see i have also something if you want it to go back you can go to the color and adjust it there and go to the color menu there and still adjust it take it back just to slide to be to the extreme so this is a very wonderful you can use it on text you can use it it's really wonderful what you can do with it it's really really wonderful what you can do with this this technique it's really wonderful so i wanted to share with you guys so you can go and try something there are a lot of things you can do you can use it on text you can use it on background you can use it on shapes you can use it to create different colors and pack them it will be like say if they are aged you can Try this wonderful technique in gradient. It's really awesome. You don't have to start stressing yourself again to get shapes and the rest. So that is it. And thanks for watching and have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you've not. And um, click the notification button so when I drop an awesome video like this, you get notified. Okay, so thanks for watching. Have a great day.